Well, this just into CBS Sports HQ, Shaheen Holloway being introduced as the new head coach at Seton Hall. Of course, Shaheen Holloway, you've seen him quite a bit over the past couple of weeks, leading St. Peter's to an improbable Elite Eight run, the first 15 seed to do so. Uh, Seton Hall, though, his alma mater. He is going home. He was a student there from 1996 to 2000, served as an assistant coach, and now the new head coach. Who played that music, but that's big time, right? Queens get the money. Queens get the money. I like it. Queens get First of all, this is, man, dream to come true. God is good. Like, oh, man. Before I start, I want to thank Dr. Naya, Kevin Marino, Pat Lyons, Brian Felt, the Board of Regents, Everyone giving this unbelievable opportunity to come back home. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm very choked up right now. I'm, I'm not sure what to even say. I don't have a voice, you know. First, you know, I wouldn't be up here if it wasn't for those 15 young men right there. So, Hold on, Pirate Nation, we could do better than that. Pirate Nation, those 15 young men right there, stand up. Get up. So um, yesterday when I, I went to talk to the team yesterday and told them that I was leaving to come here, uh, I went to the locker room around 3 o'clock. We probably stayed in the locker room from 3 to like 6. And it made it so easy on me because those 15 young men understood why I was making the decision. And it was so easy because they, those guys changed my life. And I'm very grateful. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So now on, now on to my future. These gentlemen sitting in the front row right here, fellas. I hope you guys are ready to work. I hope you guys are ready to work. Because that's what I'm about. I'm about work, I'm about hard work. No shortcuts, no nothing. I hope you guys are ready to work. And I know I watch this team throughout. I know what this team could do. So. After this meeting, after this press conference, the first thing is going to be meet with you guys to understand what it's going to take to be played for me and understand the tradition of Seton Hall University. I want to thank Kevin Willard. Um, you know, 15 years ago, Kevin Willard took a chance on me. I didn't know Kev, you know, he took a chance on me, brought, brought me with him to Iona. And then three years later, we came home to Seton Hall. Now, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget, um, is uh, Dean Hobbs here? Where Dean Hobbs at? So, don't kill Dean Hobbs, because he was Rutgers. He was a Seton Hall guy, he's still a Seton Hall guy. Uh, i never forget calling Dean Hobbs and telling Dean Hobbs that Kevin Willard was ready to be the next head coach here. And he said, you sure? I'm like, I'm sure, just give him a chance. 
and he brought us in. And I have to tell you guys, the first four years was tough, like really tough. But brick by brick by brick, we built it from the ground up, and we did it the right way. We did it with guys that wanted to be here, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it with guys that want to be here, guys that understand what a guy like Terry DeHair did, Jerry Walker did. And since I'm on Terry, uh, uh, Terry, you know, everybody's talking all this stuff. Like, I'm still waiting for my jersey to be up there. I'm not sure why my jersey's not up there yet. <laughs> I graduated over 20 years. It should be up there already. 20 years? Yeah. But, you know, no, seriously, this is not about me. This is about these young gentlemen right here. You know, my goal is to make sure they understand to be champions. You got to be champions in the classroom, on the court, and in the community. And that's what I'm all about. So, guys, understand that. Last thing, I'm not going to be up here long. It's, it's been a long two weeks, a very long two weeks. There's too many people for me to signal out. But I'm up here because a lot of people put a lot of time and sacrifice in me. My family's sitting here. My wife, Kim, who's an alum as well. My two sons, my daughter. My brother who's sitting here, who is my right hand, like him and I go through everything. And there's a lot of people in the stands, I mean a lot of people. My last press conference, I probably named 75 people. I can't do that today. Just know that everyone's here to support me. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much. You know, This week has been a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. Um, I lost my grandmother Sunday on game day. You know, she was the closest thing to God that I could know. You know, so you know it's funny because she said she wanted to, to be buried in Seton Hall Blue. How about that? She wanted to be buried in Seton Hall Blue. So this week we're going to bury her in Seton Hall Blue. And just so everybody know, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. I'm back home but I'm ready to go to work. So I'm not gonna be up here long speaking. Thank you everybody for coming out. I appreciate it. Just know I'm not gonna mess this up. I can't mess it up. It's way too important to me. So I'm putting the work in. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, brother. Last time at St. Peter's, I said, let's go Peacocks. I'm not going to do that. Pirate Nation, we here. Let's go. Let's get it. Shaheen Holloway being introduced as the new head coach of Seton Hall. He may not say go Peacocks, uh, but shout out to the St. Peter's men's basketball team. Who is there to support their now former head coach? By the way, March Madness still going on. We've got the final four. It is a doozy. This weekend, make sure to watch every game live. Download the March Madness app. Highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.